My name is Julie Hackett. I'm the superintendent of schools in Lexington. My background started in Maine as a high school English teacher and then I worked my way into uh, administrative positions including a middle school principalship and then central office curriculum instruction assessment and in 2007 my family moved to Massachusetts where I took a job as an assistant superintendent in the Taunton Public Schools and I did that for a short period of time and then moved on to Brookline as Deputy Superintendent for Teaching and Learning and then uh, returned to Taunton actually and finished uh, after 10 years as Superintendent of Schools last year and now I'm in Lexington. Being the superintendent in Taunton was interesting. It was a diverse community, uh, lots of socioeconomic diversity, 8,200 students, um, we had uh, more schools, larger population, um, but similar challenges nonetheless. Uh, there were uh, lots of um, struggles in that particular community around the dropout rate and making sure to have students stay engaged in school and particularly first generation college students. Uh, but we also had challenges that are similar to Lexington's in terms of um, getting into competitive schools and things of that nature. I love the energy and the involvement and engagement of the community members. I think what's unique to me about Lexington is the amount of involvement that is of such high quality. People want to be engaged, they want to offer their opinions, they want to offer solutions, and uh, figuring out how to hear all those voices and channel that into good productive energy is, is a great challenge. I think a good superintendent is a person who knows the community and understands the values and tries to act on those values in support of the residents and community members. And I, in my first few uh, months on the job, I've tried to know as many different constituents as possible. I've been to many different groups and meetings and um, have listened to their points of view and insights and I hope to channel their ideas into something constructive in our goal setting process and strategic plan. We have a number of goals already in place. The first one, of course, being get to know the people that you serve and uh, pay attention to the students that you serve. I think the number one overarching um, imperative for all superintendents is to be in support of the young people uh, entrusted to you. So I try to do that and, and it's always fun to have uh, times when you get to engage with students in real and productive ways. I've loved in this community the, the uh, LEFB was so much fun and there are different events like that that are real milestones in, in a year and the level of engagement involvement in the community is unbelievable so it's been a lot of fun to participate in and to watch and to start to get to know people. Also we have a very strong uh, teacher professional development strand that has been a lot of fun so on the opening day of Lexington Learns Together as an example I was able to get up on stage with a bunch of teachers and administrators and we had a sing-along and I can't sing but I pretended like I could and it was just a, a whole lot of fun and it is something special about this community that makes it unique. I think the way to combat uh, student stress and pressure is to constantly go back to the student and the young person and say, what do you want out of your life? What do you want to do? And what are your future hopes and, and goals? And I think sometimes as adults we tend to forget that um, it is a life of a person that we're talking about when we're, when we're dealing with students and aspirations and what they say and think may not align with what we say and think. And so my encouragement to families, to educators, is to really listen carefully to what students want. Um, as a parent, I can empathize with the fact that, you know, the goals of young people don't always align with ours, uh, but I think with good patience and support and belief in our young people, they can do incredible, incredible things.
I think the support of public education is one of the most critical things we can do as a commonwealth. And in Lexington, we're particularly blessed that we're well resourced and we have lots of support, both in terms of finance and in terms of a community's interest in public education. Uh, we do have school needs on the horizon and definitely the high school is something that we're talking more and more about. Uh, there's no getting around the fact that buildings these days cost much more money. We don't know whether down the road we'll be having a new build or we'll do a renovation and certainly in partnership with the Massachusetts school building authorities, if all goes well, we'll be able to figure that out. Um, it's nice to have a program in place that helps fund facilities. I know that when I deal with uh, people on the municipal side, they're always quite envious of the fact that schools get some support through the MSBA and, and the municipalities don't. Uh, at the same time, we have to keep costs down, make sure they're affordable, make sure that we're watching the tax dollar because it is a, it, a stress and a burden on people to add uh, more new buildings to schools, I mean, excuse me, more new buildings to towns. So I can appreciate that pressure. What am I most excited about right now? I guess the answer to that question would be I am most excited about conducting the orchestra on Friday at LHS. <laughs> I do not play an instrument. I have played saxophone in uh, my younger years, but I've been invited to go conduct, and I, that's always something I thought would be so interesting to do. I have no clue how to do it, but um, I'm sure we'll have some good laughs in the process. So that's exciting. I am really excited to work with this community on mapping out a strategic plan and figuring out where we want to go in the next five years. And I'm a firm believer in doing that collaboratively with all the members of the town and the community coming together and uh, you know, kind of working through a process where all those voices are heard. And I think that we are going to do great, incredible, innovative things in the future. And I can't wait to just kind of get going with that.